hey box squad welcome back to my channel in today's video i am going to be sharing with you my shopping haul over the past couple of weeks i have been shopping at ross home goods tj maxx target um and also ordering a few things on amazon so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you all what i bought if you are not part of the fox squad go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on future videos like this as well as diy and home decor videos so let's go ahead and get into um the items that i purchased first i want to show you guys that i purchased some um new towels from target and they are the casa luna uh cotton modal m-o-d-a-l bath tiles and then i also bought washcloths i stick like i said to the same color palette throughout my house actually if you're new to my channel you're just now hearing that <laughs> but if not then you know i stick to the same color palette throughout my house that way i can interchange things from different bedrooms from different bathrooms you know, from my family room to my living room to the kitchen or whatever the case may be. So um, charcoal gray is the colors that I currently have for bath towels in my bedroom. And um, so yeah, I just bought some more new ones because every now and then I like to replace my bath towels at least once a year, maybe every other year because I like for my bath towels to smell fresh. And then after a while, just from laundering them, they can start you know, smelling a little stale at times or get a little hard and not be as soft as they um, were when you first purchased them. So I like to replace them. And then I don't really buy overly expensive towels. Most of, most of the times I go to Home Goods or TJ Maxx and just buy the best quality ones that they have. And they usually work fairly well. But this time I decided to try out some towels from Target. Um, so yeah, these are the Casa Luna collection. Like I said, the M-O-D-A-L. Modal, is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Anyway, I purchased them in charcoal gray, and then I also purchased them in this mint green color because I'm going to be um, incorporating a little more of this green into my master bathroom. Uh, my master bathroom currently has these same colors in it, but um, more so gray than the green, so I'm gonna incorporate more of the green in it. Just gonna throw those over there. So while I was in California and I was doing my shop with me or my browse with me videos and I was going to check out all of the stores there, um, I saw these cute gold coasters and they were from Home Goods and they were $7.99. Um, I currently have white ones with like a gray arrow in the middle of them, but I saw these and thought they were really cute and I thought I'd pick them up because I'm incorporating more brass in my home decor. So yeah, I thought these would go really well. Um, with my color scheme. So I picked those up from, like I said, from Home Goods for $7.99. And then when I got home, uh, I, if you follow my channel, you know that I did a coffee station like makeover. I didn't complete it or I didn't share with you all that I've completed it, but I will be sharing that in future videos. So again, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. But I saw these cute like little um, Irish coffee mug. Uh, glasses at I think they were at Ross no Burlington at Burlington Coat Factory and they were $7.99 for a set of four I thought these are really really cute so I went ahead and picked these up because I like Irish cream coffee I have the um the Irish cream what is it called Bailey's Irish cream and then the coffee liqueur the Kahlua. So I like to put a little Kahlua, a little Irish cream in my coffee only on the weekends, not during the week when I'm working. And then I thought these glasses would be really cute to incorporate at my co at my coffee station. I don't know if I'm going to put them in a cabinet or display them. More than likely, I'm going to find a little tray to be able to display at least a few of them because I'm the only one in the house that drinks coffee. So I don't need a bunch of coffee mugs sitting out. And then my husband, he loves bourbon and tequila and he likes to invite his friends over to sample all of the different tequilas and bourbons that he purchased and so i picked him up some shot glasses because currently our shot glass um selection is pretty scarce we have glasses that we've picked up like on vacation and different things and none of them really match so i thought i'd get him a cute little matching set of um shot glasses and then you know it has very little intricate detail on it i don't know if you can see it's coming across in the video but i thought they were really cute and these were 4.99 from burlington coat factory as well and then i also picked up this little 
spice jar um, set. I ordered this from Amazon, actually. And I'm gonna put this at my uh, coffee station as well because I'm going to create little labels for them. To want to maybe put some hot cocoa, um, one for sugar, and then one maybe for marshmallows because I'm gonna put out some um, hot chocolate packets or something um, at the coffee station. So I thought these would be really cute to add there. And then you guys, the biggest, most fabulous purchase I made for myself, honey, girlfriends and boyfriends, is this steamer. <laughs> I ordered this from Amazon. I was in desperate need of a steamer because you always, if you follow my channel, you see me ironing my sheets. I'm tired of ironing the sheets. <laughs> so I figured the easiest way is to get this steamer. And I actually um, saw this steamer on someone else's YouTube channel. Oh, I don't remember who it was. I don't know. If I remember who it was, I'll put their name and maybe their channel down in the description box. But she was using this steamer and she left a link to it and it was on Amazon. And I was like, ah, I need that. <laughs> I need that badly. So I went ahead and ordered it. It was inexpensive, maybe $24, $25. I don't know. I don't remember. But it was inexpensive. Um, and so I had to order it. So I went ahead and picked that up. And then I picked up this blanket from Ross. No, from TJ Maxx for $24.99 is a queen size mattress. Because if you follow my channel, you know that I replaced my king size, the king size bed in my guest bedroom with a queen size bed. And I didn't have any blankets or sheets to go on that bed. So I purchased this blanket to go on it. And then I also purchased a, um, a queen size comforter to go inside of the duvet. Just the, uh, I guess it's a duvet feel comforter. One of those down alternative comforters. I got that from... TJ Maxx as well, and I think it was $24.99 too. I didn't feel like bringing that downstairs to show it y'all. Y'all know what a comforter insert looks like. So yeah, I got that. And then let's see what else did I get? Oh, I bought a ginger jar. It's green <laughs> and it doesn't match anything in my home, of course. But they didn't, at the time I purchased it, they didn't have any black ones. They didn't have any of the larger white ones. It's larger than the white one I currently have. It's a pretty nice size. So I figured, oh, well, I'll go ahead and purchase it and then I can spray paint it or paint it. Um, but I think now that they're starting to put out more decor and I've seen black ones as well as gold ones, I may take this one back and just buy one. And then that way I won't have to spray paint it. But yeah, at the time I was willing to spray paint it. It was $39.99 from Home Goods. But now that they're putting out more decor, I think I'm gonna take this back and just find one that's already um, the color that I want. So yeah, I thought that was really nice. And then from Ross, I picked up two of the statues. Are they statues? Sculptures? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, they were $8.99 a piece. So I picked up two of these. I don't know where I'm gonna put them yet. Yes, I do. I ordered a new buffet for my dining room. It's supposed to come in this week, I think. So I'll be able to share that with you guys shortly. Um, so yeah, look forward to that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Yeah, so I ordered two of these. I think I'm gonna put them in my dining room on the buffet that I ordered. And then I went to Pottery Barn and um, picked up a few things. I actually ordered it online and then just went and picked it up in the store because you know, that's the easy thing to do. And these things are really, really big, so I'm gonna take them out of the package and then I'll be right back to show you guys what it is. Whoo, child, getting that out of that bag was a task. I ordered this footed pot from Pottery Barn. Isn't that nice? This is the larger size, and then they had one that was a smaller size, but I thought this would really be nice to put on um, either my coffee table, dining table, somewhere, I don't know. I'm gonna use it somewhere in the house. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in it yet. Probably some succulents, or maybe just some of the succulent looking balls or something. You know what I'm talking about? I'll try to insert a picture somewhere um, so you know what I'm referring to, but I really have been looking for the one of these for a while. Um, when I went to Pottery Barn, they were out of them, 
and um, they didn't have any in stock at the time to order them. So when they got some in stock, of course, they send you an email to let you know if you put yourself on the list. So I got an email, let me know they were back in stock. So I went ahead and ordered it. And this is really heavy. This is a real ceramic uh, bowl. And I thought it was really nice. These are really popular nowadays and I don't think it'll go out of style. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure I'm gonna put this yet, but it will be somewhere in the house. I'm gonna set this down. Now, I also picked up this ceramic. Is it a jar? Is it a pot? Is it a flower pot? <laughs> picked up this ceramic flower pot from Pottery Barn. I got this one. Actually, is it large? I think I got the large one. Yeah. I thought this is really nice. I'm trying to get bigger uh, vases and things instead of having a bunch of little ones. Most of my vases are pretty nice size throughout the house, but I like to have different options for like different seasons and things. And with this big one, it'll look really nice with big long picks in it or stems. So yeah, I picked this up and I thought it is really nice. And then I also picked up two, um, flower pots from Target that are already on my table. So I'm gonna go get those real quick and I'll show you guys those. Don't go nowhere. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. These from Target. This one was $24.99. Did I share this with you guys? I don't think I did. If I did, sorry. If not, you're seeing it for the first time. <laughs> so this one was $24.99. You may have seen me put that on my dining table when I took down my Christmas decorations. But I didn't do a haul then, so I'm sharing it with you guys now. These aren't new. I've had them since a little bit after Christmas. And then I bought this one as well, and this one was $29.99. And like I said, they're from Target. I think they're really nice, and they look nice on my table. And I think they'll look really nice with the new chairs and buffet and things that I ordered to go in my dining room, so yeah. Make sure you're subscribed so that you see that video. So you guys, I think that's pretty much it. I think I'd spent enough money. So that is it for my haul. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video. In the meantime, stay blessed.